Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is a genie in the bottle. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a bottle, magnesium dioxide, 30% hydrogen peroxide, thread, tissue, tape, and a princess, Princess Grace. Okay. Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. And Grace. And my assistant, Grace. And today's experiment is a genie in the bottle. And first we need goggles. Sa safety goggles. You know where those are? Yeah. All right. Grace is going to get the safety goggles. And after this experiment, we're going to show you how we put it together. Safety goggles. Now we put those on. And now we need a genie bottle. Ah. You know where it is? Yeah. All right. You get the genie bottle. And uh, there it is. And what do we do with the genie bottle? I love it. Okay, I'm gonna rub it and we're gonna wish for something really cool. Aww. Oh, I know what's wrong. What? I'm a frog, you're a princess. Uh. The princess has to rub the bottle. Give it a good rub, both hands. Now make a wish and pull the top off. Woo! Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a genie in a bottle. Yeah! Woo! Just like that, a genie in a bottle. To set up genie in the bottle, you need to put 100 milliliters of 30% hydrogen peroxide. I got it at a pool store, pool supply store. This stuff can burn you. The household stuff is 3%. This is 30%. Be very careful putting it in. And uh, once you put this into the bottle, it could be any kind of bottle. I'm using a genie bottle, but it could be a wine bottle. I like to paint it gold to give it to the effect of the genie in the bottle, but it could be any kind of bottle um, you want. Now I'm taking a regular tissue, a uh, single ply, uh, it just has to be one piece uh, like that. And then you take your magnesium dioxide um, and you're gonna put it in um, the tissue. So you, do, you don't need much, size of a pea, uh, a little bit more maybe, but it's not a lot. And um, once you get that in the tissue, we're gonna roll it up so it fits into the bottle. So I'm pretty much just rolling it up like into like a cigarette. And um, and then I'm going to tape tape it so it's long and narrow and it fits down the tube. So I just take a piece of tape and um, and tape it there. This is part of where it kind of becomes a trick uh, because I'm going to put it down the bottle. I got the hydrogen peroxide in there. I do not want this to hit it. So I measure the thread right before it hits the hydrogen peroxide. And uh, then I'm going to tape that onto the uh, magnesium uh, dioxide right here. And I'm going to uh, place in the bottle, but it won't go all the way down. So uh, my bottle's a little bit thinner, so I'm going to need a skewer to help push it down. Norm normal wine bottle will just go straight down in. Um, so once you get it in and it's free and you can feel the string might drop, um, you're going to put the cap on uh, the cork. So make sure you're holding on to that thread uh, like this because you don't want it to fall all the way in once you feel it's there. Then you're going to put the cork in and that's your little safety release you're going to trim a little bit off but when i first grab it i'm holding the thread and it will not fall into the hydrogen peroxide which will kick off the steam so it's most important when you want it to drop you let go of that thread and it will fall in so the recap is you got the thread in you got your finger on it then you put the cork in that's going to hold the thread in place that's holding it right above the hydrogen peroxide when you're ready to release, like when I had Gracie rub the bottle, I opened it up, I released the thread, and that's when it fell in, and then the reaction occurs. The genie in the bottle is a demonstration that shows decomposition and reaction. A decomposition reaction is when a substance is broken up into two or more different substances. In this case, hydrogen peroxide, whose molecule formula is H2O2, is being broken down into oxygen and water. Hydrogen peroxide is easily de decomposed by light, and that's why it's sold in the drugstores in brown bottles. So what we did is to speed up the reaction. The compound we used was magnesium dioxide and it was used as a catalyst. The catalyst provided an alternative way for the reaction that had a lower activation energy and it was used to speed up the length of the chemical reaction. What's cool is this experiment also demonstrates exothermic reaction, which means the hydrogen peroxide decomposes, it also releases heat. Therefore, the bottle will get very hot after your reaction. So make sure you don't hold the bottle too long as you will be feeling it start getting warmer and warmer and eventually you want to put it down. As you notice, I didn't have um, Grace hold the bottle in any way 
or to pour any of the hydrogen peroxide because it can burn you. Thanks for watching. Remember to click thumbs up or and genie thumbs up. Subscribe. And subscribe. To genie and kids fun sex. And thanks for watching. Bye. Woo.